a lot of stuff has happened actually, and it's all been relatively recent. <clears throat> I the most recent read reviews is out with uh, Nino Brown and Justin. Uh, we talk about a book from the PSL about uh, like that's the Party for Socialism and Liberation. We talked about the book Revolutionary Education. Now, whether you feel one way or another about the PSL, that book is uh, a great resource for people who are looking at uh, a more radical, uh, revolutionary way of uh, approaching education. It's it's a uh, I think it's a great resource, and I think that Nino is a great guest and justin is an amazing person uh i know that there's a lot of anarchists who have a lot of uh information that they have sent my way about uh the psl and i haven't had a chance to go through it yet but i will and uh and i don't know what conclusion i'm going to come to i know justin is an amazing person and he's a great co-host and uh, i'm not going to really say anything bad about him or the party that he belongs to uh <sighs> I don't know what to say about it, except that if that means I'm not uh, cool in your books, I'm, af- I'm afraid I'm going to have to just live with that. Um, the, there was another thing there uh, that somebody posted uh, in the comments under the, uh, the video for the revolutionary education. And it was in one of these Facebook groups that I'm in. And they posted a link to a video by somebody named Mark Passio. And it was fake ass anarchists. And I mean, it was clearly, it was a shot at me, uh, because this person thinks that I'm not a real anarchist, but I listened, I watched this video by Mark Passio and this guy's a reactionary. Uh, he's a conservative. He's a, a hardcore Christian fundamentalist who believes that Satan is trying to take over the world. He's a conspiracy theorist on the level of Alex Jones. He's, uh, interviewed David Icke or been interviewed by David Icke, who is, the who is the dude who believes that uh <laughs> reptiles run the world rep uh, reptile people rule the world like it's just not a person i'm going to take seriously uh your fake ass anarchist video it's nonsense and when i pointed that out uh obviously the commenter said well i thought he nailed you pretty good and 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 the fact is that yeah i am a i am an anarcho communist and left wing anarchists are are the are actually anarchists. Like if you are a centrist anarchist, I can see you, I, I can see you dis- disavowing, uh, say capitalism and the state and not having, not wanting to be a communist or not wanting to assign yourself with like pro social movements per se. I can get that. But if you're an anarcho capitalist, if you're a capitalist, you aren't an anarchist. And I, I don't know how many times I have to go through this. I'm going to start a series where I, I explain and examine uh, different types of anarchism in the simplest terms I can possibly do it in. Uh, I, I know that there's lots to cover. There, it would pay, take hours and hours and hours of content to cover all the different kinds of uh, anarchist. But there, there are certain fundamental core things to all anarchists. And if you are a capitalist, you can't have them. Uh, if you are pro-capitalist, you can't have them. And if you're a reactionary, you're not an anarchist. Uh, I'm sorry. That's just not how it works. Uh, I get frustrated because I don't like gatekeeping. I don't like to say so-and-so is an anarchist, so-and-so isn't an anarchist. And I, I've explained this multiple times why anarcho-capitalists aren't anarchists. Because they're proprietarians. They believe in private property and the ownership of private property leads to the state being replaced by those with land. <laughs> it's like it's like replacing the state with a king and saying, "Oh, that'll do." It's I'm sorry, it, it's not that's not how it works, right? Like what you're what you're doing is corporate feudalism, not <laughs> not a free society of free people. And and I I just can't take you seriously as an anarchist. And I think this is an issue that we have on multiple levels. Like sure, maybe it's not a big deal for uh for the odd person to encounter uh, anarchism from these capitalists, uh, from these uh, pro-authoritarians who just use the aesthetics and term anarchist. And and may- maybe it's not a big deal at all. But for me personally, if I had been a more vulnerable person, like the first person I encountered online who said they were an anarchist was Stefan Molyneux, who is a white supremacist and a hardcore reactionary. But he he, he used the libertarian line, right? And he was an MRA and, and like all this shit. And if I had been a more vulnerable person at that time, if I had been less uh, 
critical, less of a critical thinker, then I might have fallen for his version of anarchism. And this is a real problem. We need, I think, more voices out here pointing out what anarchism is supposed to be. I know on Twitter, there's a lot of anarchists and hell, I can have it so that my entire feed is just anarchists uh, in the same way that I can have my feed set up so that it's only showing me feminists or only showing me anti-racists and never seeing anything outside of that except through uh, quote tweets or what have you. And I can do the same thing on Facebook and I can I can join my Discord communities and I can stick it, stay in those and not go out of them and not encounter these people. But Stefan Molyneux had a, has a, a big following or did have a big following. I don't know if he still does. Uh, this guy, Michael Malice, that a lot of anarchists, quote unquote, anarchists, uh, uh, follow. <laughs> He's a capitalist. He's a reactionary. He's a MAGA head. Like, you can't be a fascist and an anarchist. You just can't. So he's lying to people, but also he's adopting the name and aesthetics of anarchism. And that can confuse people and lead them down the wrong path, a less socially good path, a less pro humanity path. Um, and it, it really concerns me. I really, I really hope that we can get more people going in more places to where they can learn about real anarchism. Uh, my friend, uh, Renee, uh, some of you might remember if you watched some of the longer episodes uh, in the Ask an Anarchist sec- section, he brought up Michael Malice because when he Googled anarchism, that's who came up. And Michael Malice is a shithead, as far as I can tell. Like, I know I don't know these guys, whatever, but the stuff he puts out is harmful misinformation. It's harmful. And it's it's backwards thinking. It's straight up status quo capitalist free market nonsense. (laughs) And it's just without states, like it's just pure bullshit. So then you also have uh, like this, this Mark Passio, who is, I mean, I didn't go that far into his shit. I've just kind of, I just skimmed the surface of it, but he seems like exactly the opposite of what an anarchist is. And yet he's using the term anarchist and he's, he's actually applying, like he gets a strategy that says he gets to pick who's an anarchist. He gets to dictate that. He puts himself as an authority on what an anarchist is. So I think it's I think it's scary and harmful. And if we want an actual anarchist society, then this is the misinformation we have to uh, we have to tackle. Um, I've often said like that I would like to see uh, more people addressing the misinformation that Joe Rogan puts out because he's uh, he's a well known person. He's got a mainstream platform with millions of viewers, but Mark Passio has 123,000 YouTube subscribers. He's got a, a radio show. He's got a podcast with thousands and thousands and thousands of downloads. And these people, they all are getting the wrong idea about what anarchism is. So it is a problem. I know I know some people think that it's not a big deal, but uh, it is a problem. Misinformation is a major, major problem. And it's something that we have to f- find a way as a community, in my opinion, to uh, address. So for something I wasn't going to say anything about, that came out a lot longer than I had intended. But uh, before I send you over to the interview, I just want to say thank you for watching or listening to this. And uh, thanks for sharing this around if you do. And thanks, that helps get more views and more listeners. And maybe if we're lucky, uh, we can <laughs> we can show people that anarchism is different than what these uh, reactionary shitheads say it is. 